Hey guys, welcome, this is Martin for Tech Block Pool, and today I'm bringing you an unboxing of the amazing KEF LS50 Anniversary um, speakers. Now these speakers, as you can see by the dimensions of the box, they are bookshelf size uh, and they are monitors, uh, and they are two-way speakers, so they have two drivers in one speaker. So let's open the box. I have my handy knife. Okay, the box is open. To tell you about the dimensions, uh, the whole box is not really large. I would say it's about half a meter long and about well, 40 centimeters tall and maybe, again, 40 centimeters deep. So that's the dimensions of the box. Now, uh, it's quite heavy. I was a little bit surprised. They weigh about 18 kilograms, uh, but the weight of the speakers themselves is only 15 and a half kilogram. Okay, so let's open the box. So you have this white cover. Uh, it looks like styrofoam, but it's not styrofoam, and it's uh, really, really large. It's formed uh, to the shape of the speaker. And you get a cleaning cloth. I assume it's a cleaning cloth. Let's take a look at what it is. Ah, no, actually, this is not a cleaning cloth. These are dampers that you can put inside the bass reflex port to tune uh, the bass to your liking. And it's made out of two pieces, so you can essentially uh, tune the speaker in three ways. You can have it without it, with only one ring, or with uh, the ring and the inside. But by the reviews that I've uh, read on the internet, uh, it doesn't really um, help the sound that much, but you can try it yourself, so how, how you like it. And, well, there is a second one, of course, they, they are stereo. And you have eight of these rubber pads that you can put uh, behind the speaker so they don't slip. And that's it, there's nothing more inside of this. And I can see, ah... Oh, This looks like the manual for the speakers in different kinds of languages, the ways how you can set it up to different parts of the, uh, of the room and how to connect the wires. Actually, I can show you. It might be, might be interesting uh, to some of you what's inside of this. Okay, this is the speaker placement. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. And the the other pages are ju just text. Okay. And now what is there? What else is there? Okay, this looks like a registration card. Yes, it actually says it's a registration card. And there are four of these small pins. Now. Let me show you what these pins look like. They're really tiny and you can probably stick them uh, somewhere uh, into the speakers. They, they come in two colors, uh, red and black. But as yet, I don't know what they are actually for. I'll probably write that into the comment below. Okay, and well, that's it. Now, the speakers themselves. Ooh, and they are very heavy. They're really, really heavy. I'll try to move the box a little bit sideways. Okay, so this is one speaker. And the second speaker. Okay, let's put the box away of the picture. Alright. So we have the two boxes here. And now let's unpack them.
Mm. Struggling with this, but yeah, I'll probably have to do it like this. Slowly and steadily. Oh, careful around the ports. Alright, so here we have one speaker. And now for the second one. So you can see both speakers here, I'll, I'll put this one around so you can see the back and the front at the same time. Okay, so let's take a look at them. This is the front of the speaker, uh, the finish is matte and the rest is completely glossy. So it's uh, glossy uh, from the side, from the top, it's even, let me check, yes, it's glossy from the bottom, actually this is what the bottom looks like. And from the back as well. You can see my, my iMac uh, reflected in the back. This is the base reflex port where the foam comes inside like that. So this is how you how you can tweak the sound with with a uh, with a foam. <clears throat> there are these four sort of uh, rubbery uh, rubbery parts uh, but well I don't know what they what they're for yet. At the bottom, uh, you can see the speaker ports. Let me put this closer. Yeah, so this is what the speaker look like. Um, the ports look like. Yeah, the left and the right. So, <clears throat> as you can see uh, from lo from looking at at the at the speaker ports, uh, you cannot buy wire them. So that may be uh, a detriment to some. But uh, for me personally, I don't really mind if if the speakers are not buy wireable. And now let's take a look at the front again. So uh, this is this is uh, uh, the, the, the speaker, uh, the front of it, and you can see there there are two parts of it. This is this is the tweeter, and this is the the mid range part of the speaker. So after giving myself a minute to familiarize myself with uh, these speakers, I found out what the little pins are for. So the pins you can insert into the holes at the back of the. Uh, the back of the ports for the speakers and this is what they look like when they are inserted inside it right over here that's the that's the black one so that's that and um, these dampers they actually they allow you uh, to uh, have the speakers closer to the back of the wall so uh, with the larger one you can have it less than half a meter and with both of them inside you can have it as close as 20 centimeters from the back of the wall so thank you once again for watching see you next time